Oh, it's them! They're here! Oh, my God, the place looked terrible. Your mother's gonna hate me, Eunice. Oh, Dutch, relax. You've swept the floor nine times. Oh, they're pulling into the yard. Hi, Mom! She'll see dirt. She'll put you in the car and take you home. Oh, Dutch, the place is beautiful. She's gonna love it. Look at this, a fly. A fly probably died from the dirt. <laughs> Hey, I know you don't think this is very much. Oh, Dutch, I think it's charming. <laughs> Mr. Tate and I once had a cabin in the woods, too. Oh, it was wonderful. Every morning the rooster would crow and the sun would shine in our sleepy eyes. And all the little animals would come and bang on the door for bits of food. Oh, yes, the breeze blew through the trees, the bees buzzed, the crickets chirped. <laughs> Clear air, cold mountain water... We hated it. <laughs> it was charming. See, Dutch, I told you she'd love it. What is this? Soup. Who made it? I did. Get out of here. <laughs> really, I did. You mean you actually cook? Of course. What's the big surprise? Because the last time you made dinner, I missed a day of school. Dad spent the night in the bathroom, Benson had dizzy spells, and the dog died. <laughs> Billy. Eunice. It's been a very long drive. Where is the powder room? Oh, Mother, we don't have a powder room. We have an outhouse around the back. <laughs> Benson, what is an outhouse? <laughs> I think I can wait till we get home. <laughs> Oh, my God, it's a cop! What are they doing here? You gotta hide! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Not all of you, just me! There's a car outside, he's gonna know somebody's here! Go hide, Dutch, we'll think of something. Eunice, where are you going? He hates to hide alone. <laughs> Benson, think of something. <laughs> Don't mind. Afternoon. Afternoon. I saw the car out there. Uh, that belong to you? Uh, uh, yes, uh -huh. yes. What's your name? Benson. Who are you? Mrs. Benson. <laughs> and I'm Billy Benson. <laughs> The Bensons. Right, right as rain, the Benson clan. <laughs> so I take it uh, you all live here, is that it? Fine, fine, couldn't be better. Yes, good country air. Of course, I do miss the Kiwanis Club picnics from time to time. But... <laughs> then one must make sacrifices for one's family, mustn't one? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Son, where's my pipe? Right here, Dad. Thank you, son. Here's a quarter. <laughs> what a dad. What are you folks doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Why, nothing. What else would we do here in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> you own this place then, huh? Yes. Uh, the doctor here. <laughs> Worked so hard, we just had to have a place to get away and relax. Oh, you're a doctor. Neurosurgeon. <laughs> well, uh, I guess everything's in order. Let me give you a tip. Oh, no, you ain't got to do nothing like that. <laughs> what I meant was, uh... You see, this place here used to be the Leitner farm. Dutch Leitner, he's a killer. Mm. Escaped from prison. Mm. I'd advise you keep your windows and doors locked at night. He just might decide to return. Oh, thank you, officer. We certainly will do that, won't we, dear? Dear. Sure thing, darling. <laughs> well, I'd better be off. Yes, thank it's been you. nice having you off. <laughs> you expecting company? 
No, 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 no. I was just wondering why you had the two extra place settings. The twins. Sure, the twins. Candy and Randy. Well, I don't see them. They're in the outhouse. Together? Have two Siamese twins. I see, I see. Candy and Randy will be sorry to have missed you. They're both hoping someday to be a policeman. Well, uh, some other time, uh, possibly. Now, uh, you be sure and keep this door locked, you hear? Yes, yes, pop in any time. Yeah, yeah, all, all right, perhaps a little. Toodaloo. <laughs> hey, hey, you can come out now. <laughs> Boy, that was close, boy. Uh, <laughs> why don't we all sit down and eat, huh? I thought for sure he had us for the extra two place settings. Oh, oh, this lying made me hungry. <laughs> me too. Hey, are we gonna wait for the twins? <laughs> mm. Okay, I'll note the litter. Okay. Now what? Uh, beat the egg yolks. Already beat the egg yolks. Well, do it again. It's lumpy. I hate it when it's lumpy. Will you just read? What next? Uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Elaine loved lemon juice. Oh, boy. There he goes again. Come on, Bob. This thing's starting to boil. What next? Okay. Uh, stir in the lemon juice uh, under low heat. Keep cooking. Uh, and continue cooking until thick. It was thick ten minutes ago. What do I do now? Throw it against a wall. Call me a taxi. This is garbage you got here. <laughs> I used to love to watch Elaine eat. She ate like a princess. She ate like Seattle Slough. <laughs> Chuck, get Bob out of here. Well, come on, Danny. I mean, Elaine's been dead for two days. I mean, come on, you gotta get over it. Enough is enough. Life goes on. Chuck. Oh, uh, let's eat out. Good idea. Yeah, you ruined my breakfast. You ruined my appetite. You're a real downer, Danny. <laughs> Want me to get that? Hi. Hi. Benson, I've got some bad news. About Mr. Tate? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. When? Yesterday morning. Where are you going? Well, I think I better tell her. I'll tell her. It's better if I tell her. I've known her for a long time. Benson, I've had a lot of practice doing this. I've been doing it for years, so let me tell her. Miss Tate. Woo! <laughs> now break it to her gently. Just trust me. Yeah. Yes, Benson. Detective Donahue, how nice to see you. Mrs. Tate. I was just going for a walk. Oh, such a gorgeous day. Uh, would you like to go with me? Hmm? Maybe, maybe we could have a picnic. Mrs. Tate, hmm? we found this. It's Chester's. Benson, look, you remember? I, I gave it to Chester for Christmas. Oh, golly. Look how it's falling apart. Yes. Mock leather. See, I didn't know that that meant it wasn't real leather. <laughs> Mrs. Tate. I mean, after all, a mock turtleneck sweater is still a sweater, right? <laughs> Where did you get this? A little boy. A little boy? The boy in the mud. The mud? The mud from the flood. There was a flood? Well, sure, when the dam broke. A dam broke? From the weight of the bridge. The bridge? Well, the bridge collapsed when the mountain fell on it. The mountain fell down? A whole mountain? And when the train blew up, it jarred the mountain. What train? The train your husband was killed on, Mrs. T.
Mr. Tate's dead. Are you sure? You know, sometimes these things don't always... It mean... was him. He was seen hopping a boxcar. They found his clothes in that wallet. It was him. Oh. Oh, God, my head. Here, pal. This will fix you up. What happened to my head? You fell on it. <laughs> oh! Hoop de ha! <laughs> what is hoop de ha? Well, an amusing domestic Chablis. <laughs> Goes with anything. Where am I? Who are you? Uh, Toledo, a hobo. <laughs> what am I doing in Toledo? I've asked myself that on numerous occasions. I seem to remember being on a train. Right. What happened? I seen somebody toss you out of a boxcar. That's right. My clothes. She stole my clothes, my new suit. These are not my clothes. <laughs> my wallet. Oh, all my money. Yeah, I never carry cash anymore. <laughs> well, what happened to him? Where's the train? Poof. Poof. That was a $400 suit. Poof. <laughs> Wait a minute, how do I know that? I remember. I remember. Oh, oh, I remember. I remember. I remember. It must have been some suit. <laughs> my watch. He didn't take it. Oh, I still have my memory and my watch and my family. Oh, yes, a wonderful family. I, I, I must have a family. Look, look, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Oh, life. Life, I love you. Oh, life. Life can be beautiful. Life can also be a headache. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who am I? 